It's a great definition. And I think that goes to something you, you, you said earlier, and that had to do with being pushed out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And the Oscan Institute is trying to push students out of their comfort zone to put them in areas uh, that, that one, develop them and stretch them. So in the context of, you, you know, we in the Army like to talk about lessons learned and after action and all that. When you were pushed out of your comfort zone, what are the, the positive and negative lessons that you learned yeah. as a function of, of mm. being pushed out of that zone? Yeah, there's, there's one example that really comes to mind for me is uh, I, uh, when I started with Boeing in the mid 80s, uh, I started up in uh, Seattle, which at that point was headquarters of, of the Boeing Corporation and uh, worked up there for about 14 years. And I came to Boeing because I wanted to design airplanes. And I spent 14 years designing airplanes and just loved it. Every kind of airplane you can imagine. Um, and uh, I thought, boy, this, this can be a great career. I'm just gonna do this for as long as I'm in the business. And uh, uh, at about the 15 year point in my career, uh, a senior leader in Boeing came to me and said, uh, Dennis, we had something else we want you to try. And I said, well, I'm in, I'm in the middle of this big airplane competition. I, I want to switch gears. I like what I'm doing. So we want you to go move to Washington, D.C. and run our uh, air traffic management business, a new startup for Boeing. So, well, I don't know a lot about air traffic management. I'm a fighter designer. Why do you want me to do that? He says, because it's going to stretch you and grow you. And uh, so I ended up, uh, this was uh, uh, September of uh, 2001, moved my family across the country from uh, Seattle to Washington, D.C. My wife and I... Um, had just had our first uh, son. He was maybe uh, two, three months old. And uh, I still remember driving from Seattle to Washington, D.C. We had seven pets. My wife is a veterinarian, so a U-Haul full of all our stuff and seven pets. And, and uh, we arrived in D.C., got moved in, got settled in. And about 10 days after we arrived, 9-11 uh, happened. Right? And uh, overnight, if, for those of you that remember the summer of 2001, the air traffic system was bursting at the seams. It, there was not enough capacity in the system. And overnight, the problem went from not enough capacity to not enough security, completely blew up our business model, dismantled the air traffic management business. Um, so I hear, I, you know, my wife's looking at me and said, we have a two-month-old son, moved across the country for what? <laughs> uh, so the, you know, the, that, was, that was a very tough experience for me, and we had to kind of unravel that business model and uh, some tough personnel issues to deal with. Uh, and that wasn't much fun while I was doing it. But looking back on that time period, I probably grew more as a leader during that year than any other time in my career because it pushed me outside of my comfort zone. I ended up meeting a whole bunch of new people in Washington, D.C., dramatically expanded my network, I had a much more global understanding of the business and how it worked. Um, I eventually met people in D.C. like yourself, sir, uh, and ended up as my next job taking over the Future Combat Systems program where we, we worked together. Um, so that move ended up being probably the absolute single most influential, important event in my career. And it was something that originally I didn't even want to do. So uh, that's one thing that stands out for me. You know, knowing you talk about air, 